Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with the 2016 Toyota Land Cruiser Arctic Trucks 8037 and this has 1,356 horsepower, 1,021 pounds feet of torque from a 7.5 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine and the vehicle itself now weighs 3,839 pounds came with all-wheel drive, off-road tyres and off-road suspension as standard and it can now do not 16.562 seconds to 106.322 seconds and going to a top speed of 224 miles an hour. Now I'm hoping that this car can do better than the previous one which was a real disappointment considering it had a lot of power and plenty of off-road capability. Now this is also a car with plenty of off-road capability and power but hopefully it's a bit more stable than the previous one as that kept falling over so uh, yeah hopefully this doesn't have the same issues. Now this car was pre-modified in its stock form to deal with off-road elements because it's not a standard Land Cruiser in any way in this game which is a bit of a shame I would like a standard Land Cruiser to be honest but two auto technically aren't in these uh, in this Forza Horizon game and the reason they're able to be in at all with these is because it's technically a, uh, its own new vehicle being modified by Arctic Trucks. So uh, yeah, it's the closest thing we're going to get to a Toyota in any kind of way uh, outside of you know the Baja truck that's already been on this series, as well as another Arctic Trucks vehicle. And the Baja truck has done is in a solid position at number 20. Hopefully we can go even further than that with this though, because again that had some stability issues took that out it was kind of wobbly in terms of its suspension and lifted up at times. This didn't fall over that the F-150 from the previous episode. And this is really rather stable as well at the moment. While being pretty damn quick. shame that we can't have any uh, stock Toyotas or even Lexus cars on uh, this game. There are a great many new Lexus vehicles I'd like to try out, but there we go. That is a stupendously quick time to the fact that it's only at 2 minutes 50.547 seconds, meaning we do have a new leader and the first one to come close to coming under the two minute mark which I didn't think was going to be possible but it's come very very close and uh, yet yeah, massively surprised by how quick it is meaning that the uh, Porsche 718 RS60 has uh, not been at the top of the leaderboard for all that long really uh, which is a shame because that was really rather quick and I was expecting it to be there a while because it did beat out the Lamborghini Urus which was there for a long while but yeah Beats the Porsche, beats the Lamborghini Urus, beats everyone, and uh, yeah, I'm really, really surprised because it's hardly a lightweight car. It's hardly the most agile vehicle in stock form, never mind in this upgraded form, because yes, it's lighter, but the tyres could only be widened and couldn't make them any grippier uh, or anything like that. And uh, yeah, we're still weighing it nearly four thousand pounds is hardly a lightweight of a car, but all that extra power and torque was usually able to uh, move that uh, weight around. And uh, yeah, with all its off-road capability, the uh, bumps and the jumps were no problem whatsoever, and even with the surfaces. And uh, yeah, generally just a uh, really rather stable, easy to drive car that just so happened to be quick as well, meaning that we're uh, yeah at the top of the leaderboard by nearly two seconds. So uh, yeah, this does give me hope that we can actually break the two-minute barrier, which would be pretty immense, because again, like I said, I wouldn't, I've never expected a car to be able to do so, but this has given me the hope that that is now possible and uh, yeah uh, there are obviously another Arctic truck vehicle to try out whether or not that's going to be as good we'll have to see because I will definitely be giving that a go now that this has done so well but yeah I am hopeful that we might well be able to beat the 2 minute barrier now which I can't have said before doing this episode but yeah cracking vehicle and uh, yeah easily one of the uh, easiest cars to drive on this car on this series quite frankly even though it's the fastest it's certainly the one of the uh, 
less remarkable cars because it was just such an easy car to drive. No issues with it whatsoever, and yet it's just breezed past everybody that's on the series so far. So yeah, amazing. <laughs> Nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.